the more you try to get something through personal effort, the more what you want seems to slip away. When you let go and let things happen, everything starts to work out and you start getting what you want. But perhaps you really want it. Perhaps you feel like you really need it. But it's like the harder you try to achieve something, the further away it seems to get. Isn't that weird? What if I told you that there's a deeper truth behind this phenomena? A universal law that once understood can change everything in your life. In this video, we're going to be shining a light on the law of reversed effort, but not in the way that you've heard it before. We're going to explore how this principle relates to your very sense of self and the way you create reality. This video is for you if you want to stop feeling like you need to wrestle your way through life to get what you want. It's for you if you want to discover the secret to letting go and then having the next right actions that lead you towards your dream naturally come to you. Because aren't you tired of pushing and striving and struggling your way through life, weighed down by that heavy feeling of personal responsibility? I am too. So, together, let's uncover a greater sense of flow intuition and inspiration and have our minds blown about who we really are and how reality really works. The law of reversed effort is a concept that's been knocking about for a while now, but it's often misunderstood or only partially grasped. Most people think that it means you should just stop trying altogether, or that if you give up on all your desires and goals, then somehow they'll magically manifest. But the real truth goes much deeper than that. It's not about giving up on your dreams or becoming a passive observer of life. It's about understanding the nature of reality and your true role in the creation process. You see, when we believe ourselves to be a separate, limited individual cut off from the power of the universe, we tend to approach our goals from a place of lack, neediness, or desperation. We think that we have to make things happen through sheer force of will, and that if we can just try hard enough, we can kind of force life to give us what we want. And then we're further brainwashed by countless YouTube videos telling us that we need to get ahead of 95% of people and outwork everyone else. We're told that it's just a case of speed, and so we try to optimize our life to go as fast as possible, only to quickly burn ourselves to the ground and get very little achieved in the process. But what if this very belief in being this self who has to struggle and effort is the root cause of all our struggles and frustrations? What if by seeing through this illusion, we could tap into a much greater power and create a reality with a greater ease and flow. We may still put in a great deal of effort in terms of focused energy directed in a specific direction, but we no longer feel like a personal sense of self that's trying to achieve something in this state of stress. We're cultivating energy and allowing it to powerfully pour out of us. But paradoxically, we also simply watch this happen as we rest our attention in effortless beingness. I remember many times in my own life when I was trying and striving so hard to manifest the things that I wanted. I had these visions of what I wanted to create and I was putting in these long hours, grinding every day to make it happen, thinking that success was always just around the corner. If I can just push a little bit harder, until I'd inevitably lie in bed for days recovering. Despite all my efforts, it felt like I was getting nowhere. The harder I tried, the more stuck and frustrated I became. It's like running on a treadmill, expending all this energy, but not actually really moving forward. It wasn't until I had this profound realization about the nature of reality that everything began to shift. In a moment of deep contemplation, it was seen that we are not 
just this limited person struggling to make things happen. We are the very consciousness as which all of this is appearing. I understood that our true power doesn't really come from forceful personal effort, but from aligning with the creative energy of the universe. By letting go of this belief in being separate and tapping into our true nature as infinite awareness, we can manifest our desires with much more ease and flow. The core problem is that most of us are so deeply identified with this idea of who we are, of being a separate limited self. We believe we are the I in our thoughts, the ego mind identity that's distinct from everyone and everything else. And from this perspective, the reality that we want feels like a struggle. We think that we have to make things happen through personal effort and willpower and that we have to overcome obstacles and fight against circumstances. Life is like a battle, and many people wake up feeling like they're going to war each day. Some people seem to even like it. It's like an identity that makes them feel powerful. They feel like they need to attack the day. But I'm not sure about you. I don't want to live like that. There has to be an easier way, right? Because this belief in just being a separate limited individual creates a deep sense of lack and neediness. We feel like we're not enough as we are, that we need to obtain certain things or achieve certain goals in order to be peaceful or happy or fulfilled. As a result, we approach our desires from a place of stress, desperation, over-anticipation, over-excitement, or attachment, and we cling to specific outcomes, believing that part of our well-being depends on them. We strive and strain, hustle and grind, all the way to the grave. We may achieve many things, but then there is always more to achieve, and we become a slave to what we've created. Eventually, maybe we create a business to quit our job and to free ourselves from the nine-to-five wage slavery, only to find ourselves a slave to another job that we created for ourselves. And the more we effort from this place of personal identity, the more we actually block the very things that we want. Our attachment and neediness create energetic resistance, repelling the experiences and opportunities that we desire. It's like trying to catch a butterfly by chasing after it. The more you run towards it, the more it flies away. But if you sit still and allow it to come to you, it will eventually land on your outstretched hand. So what's the solution? How can we create our reality that we want without getting caught up in the trap of personal efforting and striving? The key is to drop our identification with the limited self so that our true nature as infinite consciousness is naturally revealed. The key is to recognize that we are not separate from the creative power of the universe, but that we are this consciousness, the creative power itself, expressing itself in human form. Now, I cannot teach this to you or try to get you to believe me or give you some kind of new belief system or ideology. I can only point it out with the hope that you see it for yourself. You are this infinite consciousness, otherwise known as infinite awareness. Can you feel it? When we abide as awareness, as the presence that's perceiving all of this, we see that we are not the doer in the conventional sense. We are the space in which all the doing happens, the conscious container in which thoughts, feelings, and actions, and the entire world arises. From this place, manifesting our desires becomes more of a matter of imagination and energetic alignment rather than forced effort by an individual. We tune in to the vision of what we want to create, feeling the reality of it in our mind, imagination, and heart. And then we let go of the attachment to how it will manifest. We trust that the universe will orchestrate the perfect unfolding, bringing us the people, the resources, the opportunities that we need just at the right time. We still take action, 
but it comes from a place of inspiration and flow rather than struggle and strain. We listen out for the still small voice. We follow our intuitive promptings, letting the next right action steps reveal themselves moment by moment by taking spontaneous action on our intuition. In this way, the actions taken to create reality become a joyful dance rather than an exhausting battle. Our apparent individual self and the universe are experienced as one single unfolding of this consciousness, allowing our desires to manifest. The law of reversed effort doesn't mean that you don't do anything or you don't work hard. It means you work at a pace that's sustainable and enjoyable. You do consistent actions that generate value for others in a flow-based way. And that's probably how you want to live life anyway. Sometimes you may need to use great effort to learn something new. Sometimes you may put in many hours working on a passion project, but it's done from a sense of overall lightness and power rather than feeling like a frustrated individual who needs to figure it out and force things to happen. Because what many people don't realize is when you decide you want something, perhaps something big, it's going to trigger all your fears, doubts, and insecurities about not being good enough to achieve it. It's going to trigger old emotions, giving you the opportunity to release them. It's going to trigger thoughts of imposter syndrome or impossibility giving you the opportunity to see through those illusions of apparent individuality and take action anyway. If I could sum up the whole video and the whole concept of the law of reversed effort in the most honest and direct and high level way, it would be this. When we believe that we are separate, limited individuals who have to struggle to achieve in a world, we think, feel, and act on behalf of that belief. And we see the reflection of that belief in the 3D. When we know and experience ourselves as this consciousness dreaming, when we feel and act on behalf of this consciousness, we see the reflection of that state in the 3D. The 3D is more dreamlike and responds more to what we're imagining a bit like a lucid dream. This understanding of the law of reversed effort and the power of consciousness is not just a nice fluffy sounding theory, it's a truth that's been recognized by wisdom traditions and spiritual sages throughout history. From the non-dual teachings of the East to the mystical traditions of the West, there is a common thread that points to the reality of our being. We are not just these limited human selves but a vast and infinite presence that is the source of all creation. Call it God or the universe. Even modern science is beginning to catch up with this ancient wisdom. Quantum physics has shown that the observer and the observed are not separate, but intimately interconnected. The very act of observation affects the behavior of subatomic particles, suggesting that consciousness is a fundamental aspect of reality. There have also been numerous studies on the power of visualization and the placebo effect, demonstrating that our beliefs and expectations and the way that we feel or our so-called vibration can have tangible and monumental impacts on our physical health and well-being. But perhaps the most compelling evidence comes from the countless individuals who have actually put these principles into practice and transformed their life as a result. From the athletes who have used visualization to achieve peak performance, to the entrepreneurs who have manifested incredible success by aligning with their true vision, the proof is all around us. When we let go of the illusion of the separate self and tap into this infinite creative potential of our true nature, we open up ourselves to a whole new way of being and doing. What was previously thought of as impossibilities can become commonplace. So how can you start applying the law of reversed effort in your own life? Here are a few simple steps to get you started. Number one, 
Can you become aware of when you're consenting to the belief that you're a limited separate self? It will look like an almost constant focus on thinking and a sense of being an I who needs to effort and get things done. Can you notice when there's focus on thoughts of lack, neediness, or desperation? Can you observe when there is stress-fueled striving and struggling to make things happen? Number two, recognize your true nature. Remember that you are not just this person, but this vast awareness in which all of this is appearing. You are the dreamer of this dream, the infinite consciousness that is creating reality. Number three, this recognition or remembering isn't actually something that you need to think about or do. It's not about telling yourself, I am infinite consciousness and trying to believe it. It's actually a shift in perspective. Just notice what's apparently happening right now. See that between thoughts of need or lack, you are complete and whole exactly as you are. There is nothing missing and nothing that needs to be fought for or achieved. Everything you seek is already within you. Four, imagine what you want to create. See it, feel it very clearly, but don't psychologically cling to it. Know that it is already yours in the realm of consciousness and that it will manifest in the perfect form and timing. Five, take inspired action but let go of forcing and controlling. Follow your intuitive promptings, those subtle nudges from your higher self. Act naturally from a place of joy and alignment, not struggle and strain. Number six, trust in the unfolding. Have faith that the universe is conspiring in the favor of your apparent individual self, even when it doesn't look like it on the surface. Relax in knowing that everything is happening for your highest good or awakening. Number seven, with big goals, you may feel many challenging emotions being triggered along the journey. Approach the journey of healing and letting go with assurance that it's the fastest path to what you desire. By following these steps, you will begin to experience a profound shift in your life. You will find things manifest with greater ease and joy and flowing with the current of the universe rather than fighting against it. Imagine a life where you are no longer always feeling like you need to take that personal responsibility and struggle and feel like a heavy personal sense of self that needs to wrestle with life. A life where you are fully awake to your true nature as this infinite, the source and substance of all that is. This is categorically available to you now. Imagine this flesh and blood moving through its day with a deep sense of peace and gratitude. You are no longer constantly plagued by thoughts of lack or limitation. Any lingering thoughts of fear and doubt are seen as another opportunity to further see through the illusion, releasing old negative feelings and embodying the creative power of consciousness in this human form. As challenges and opportunities arise, you meet them with a sense of curiosity and openness. You trust that every experience is unfolding for your highest good and that the universe, which is your higher self, is conspiring to support your awakening and manifest your desires. You have the vision of something you want to create. You allow it to permeate this space of consciousness in your heart and mind without obsessing over it and worrying about whether it's ever going to come or not. You feel the reality of it in your heart and mind, but you don't cling to it desperately or have any confusion about how you apparently need it. You don't. You know that it is already yours in the realm of consciousness, that you are fundamentally at peace, and that if you really want it and it's right for you, it will manifest in the perfect form and timing. You take inspired action towards your goals, but you do so from a place of joy and alignment. You are guided by your intuition, following the subtle promptings of your higher self. There's no forcing or struggling, only flow and ease. Sometimes 
some feelings of stress arise, but you feel into them, release them, and just take another action if that's necessary. And as a result, your life begins to transform in miraculous ways. Doors will open where there was only walls. Opportunities and resources flow into you with synchronistic timing. You find yourself surrounded by people and circumstances that reflect your highest vision. This is the power of living as your true nature, of aligning with the creative force of the universe. This is what becomes possible when you let go of the illusion of separation and instead be the infinite potential of the consciousness that you really are and already are. At this point, you might be thinking, well, this sounds great, Alex, but what about when things get really tough? What about when I'm facing challenges, maybe health, relationship, or financial challenges that just seem insurmountable and everything feels like it's on fire? Well, that's a valid question. The truth is, living from a place of alignment and flow doesn't mean you'll never face difficulties or obstacles. Life will still have its ups and downs, its moments of challenge and contrast, and sometimes those challenges may be great. In fact, it might not be popular for me to say this, but manifesting with the law of reversed effort means that sometimes things may feel a little worse before they get better. The universe has a way of presenting a path to what you desire that feels booby-trapped with landmines, setbacks, and disappointments. And sometimes they can feel painful or even devastating to the individual if you have an egoic attachment around something. But you have to let those landmines blow your ego up and away. And what's left is this space of pure consciousness in which all the old feelings are felt and released, and you become a humble to the power of the universe and honor that sometimes is going to give your human form some shit to wade through before you get to the promised land. But the good news is, once you get to the promised land, it's obvious how you needed that shit to become the person who can strongly build and sit comfortably in your palace. The difference is, in how you meet these challenges. When you are rooted in knowing of your true nature, you have a deep resilience and capacity to navigate whatever arises. And with whatever arises, you see that it doesn't touch your essential being. So you don't get thrown off center by the ups and downs of life so much. You don't get lost in stories of victimhood or powerlessness. Instead, you remain grounded in the truth of who you are and you trust in the unfolding of your journey. You also have access to a wisdom and guidance that goes beyond the limited perspective of the mind. By remaining very internally still and tuning into your intuition and higher knowing, you can find very creative solutions and inspired paths forward even in the midst of seeming obstacles or even impossibilities. And perhaps most importantly, you know that even the challenges are serving a higher purpose or are opportunities for awakening and growth, for expansion, for letting go of limited beliefs and patterns, for sinking into consciousness. They are invitations to know your true nature even more and even more fully express the love and ingenuity and creativity that you are. Because you seek to know yourself by contrast, sometimes you need to experience the apparent lovelessness to really know love. Sometimes you need to experience lack and limitation to really know abundance. You realize that you, as an apparent limited individual, have no free will or control. But in surrendering the control of the individual, paradoxically, you get it back because you get something higher than control, which is freedom. And you realize that freedom was there all along. So I want to remind us about this incredible truth of who we really are. We are not this limited human being struggling to make our way through the world. We are the very consciousness that's dreaming this entire reality into existence. And you have the power within you to create anything you can imagine, really, for the purpose of what you want in this life, 
to manifest the reality you choose. But this power doesn't come from a forceful effort or striving. It comes from aligning with the creative energy of the universe, from letting go of the illusion of separation and resonating with the infinite potential that is your true nature. And when you live from this place, life can become a joyful dance of creation. You move with the flow of the universe, trusting in the perfect unfolding of your journey, and you manifest more desires with ease and flow, knowing that everything you seek is already within you in the realm of consciousness. Now, I'm not underplaying any life's challenges. Many people are stuck in terrible situations that are extremely challenging. I recognize that. Life may not always go in the ways our individual self wants it to. Some events or circumstances may even be ordained from a higher plane of reality or God or your higher self. It may be incredibly difficult for the mind to understand what's going on in these moments. It takes trust to keep an open heart in the midst of extreme pain and trust that it's all okay and perfect from a higher perspective or it's serving a higher good. But if you've been struggling and striving and trying to make things happen through sheer force of will, I invite you to let go of that belief for a moment that you are separate, that you are lacking, that you need to fight for what you want. Can you for a moment have an openness, a willingness to see the truth of your being, our being? Can you begin to embrace your role as the creator of your reality? Paradoxically, it's responsibility. Can you open up to the infinite wisdom of consciousness by listening out for the still small voice inside you and following those breadcrumbs to the achievement of your goals and the fulfillment of your desires? And can you see your inherent fulfillment right now? Can you notice it on the inside before you see it on the outside? Can you notice that all thoughts of lack are in the mind and that this awareness is already whole and complete. Can you let the next right actions flow from here, being, just being, and allowing the doing to unfold and healing along the way? If you desire to manifest your inner visions that will benefit a great many people, and if you desire to create them from a place of peace, harmony, and flow rather than violent struggle, I want to support you with this and invite you to a conversation about whether it will be a good fit for us to work together. And in this free one-on-one -on -one call, we'll explore your unique challenges, your true nature and your heart desires and the path to their creation. And whether working together in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship program, the Awaken Aware program is the right fit for you. To book your free call, simply visit speaktoalex.com, fill out the short form, I'm excited to connect with you and support you on your journey of letting go and awakening to our true nature. See you in the next video. Peace.